Hello, this is a quick tutorial on the different templates that you can use to create an iPhone OS application. This is just a quick run through of these templates just to give you a general idea of how they can be used. The first one in our list is the navigation based application template. You'll notice here that it can only be created for the iPhone or used for the iPhone um, or iPod Touch. It isn't for the iPad. Um, one thing I want to mention is any of these templates you see that it's just for the iPhone. Um, if you create the application, it will run on the iPad, but it will run in that um, uh, iPhone sized image in the middle of the iPad screen. And if you zoom in, it'll look kind of blocky and pixelated. Um, navigation view controllers have that top navigation bar where you can have the back button. They sort of show a sample here um, to move up the hierarchy, to move back. Um, so you can use this to create um, a project that kind of is set up with a navigation view already in place. The next template on our list is the OpenGLES application template. And this template is pretty much for doing a lot of graphics intensive kind of things, either two-dimensional or three-dimensional graphics. In many cases it's used for games. You'll notice here you're not stuck with only the iPhone, you can do one or the other. So you could create a dedicated iPad application. Next one, this is new with um, iPhone OS 3.2, the split view based um, application view con um, template, excuse me. You'll notice it is only for the iPad. Um, I use this to create an app called I Lost My Underwear Today and Other Flights of Imagination, which is a interactive book um, based on a book my friend wrote. and you can check it out in the App Store, but he wanted it just, he wanted the book just on the iPad. And what this does is it creates kind of a, a nifty template for you all, all set up where you've got um, um, an area in the middle to display information. You got a toolbar at the top, and you've got a button where you can click it and have a list of things like I have a table of contents. So it kind of, if you've got an application that kind of falls into uh, the layout that this is using, it's done a lot of work for you and you just kind of flesh it out on your own. Then there's the tab bar application template. You'll notice they're doing the sample here where you have different tabs, different buttons at the bottom. Um, this one, you're unlike the navigation one, you can do one or the other. You can do iPhone or iPad. The next one is the utility application template. They're showing a little um, flipping animation. It's inferred anyway. Basically, this will create a application where you have two different views, and if you just run it, right out of the box. Uh, touching it will cause it to flip over, touching it again to flip back, and of course then you can flush it out and fill it in. Um, you can do this only for the iPhone. Then there's the view base controller, which used to be my preferred method. Um, and you can do it for either the iPhone or iPad. And what this does is it basically gives you a window for your app and a view in it and then you've got to go from there. And last but not least in our list for the iPhone OS is the Windows based application um, template. And this allows you to do everything you would think and more. So you can do it for the iPhone, the iPad, and the Universal. iPhone of course if you're designing an application just for the iPhone. iPad, again, just for the iPad, it won't run on an iPhone. But Universal is very nice because if you pick this one, you can create an application that will run natively and the way you want 
on both the iPhone and the iPad. And you can set things up using this template um, so that things look, if you're running it on the phone, it looks good on the phone and it's set up for the phone, but if you're running it on the iPad, it looks good on the iPad, it's set up for that. You, you have the most control here. And of course, and maybe if you're wanting to put something in the App Store, this might be your best bet to do a universal app because your market's broader. Um, if, though, um, the app maybe would only be good on the iPad due to needing space, maybe um, you wouldn't want to do universal, but then you could just do iPad here. Or if this split view controller, split view based application template here is good enough, you could use that. So these are all the different templates you can use for the iPhone OS. There are other different um, templates to pick from here for Mac OS and that we're just covering the iPhone OS. So I hope that kind of gives you some help there on this subject.